In this video, we're going to talk about what I think is one of the most important factors to breeding success with your crickets, and that is female cricket maturity as it pertains to breeding. On this potato right now, there are four, no, five different females that represent four different, well, three different stages of maturity as it pertains to breeding. So I'm going to point those out and tell you how far away I think each one are from actually being ready to breed. This one right here is the youngest. It still needs to go through one more shed before it's ready to breed. This one has gone through all of the molts that are necessary. It has a fully formed ovipositor, but it is not quite ready to breed. It'll probably be 24 to 48 hours away. You know this because of the disorganized nature of its wings. So those little frays at the bottom indicate that she is fresh off of molt, so not quite ready. Notice the difference with this one. No frayed ends there with the wings. They're very organized, which means she's molted at least 24, maybe 48 hours previous. So she will be ready to breed right now. Hopefully this was helpful in telling you which kinds are different, which stages are different. Uh, really pay attention to your females. Like I said, the males may be chirping, but the females, if they're not fully mature and ready to breed, it's just useless song at that point. So keep an eye on your females, and hopefully you uh, get some successful breeding and some successful hatches and pinheads. Check out my other videos on breeding substrate, pinheads, proper conditions, all of those sort of things, and you'll have your colony up and running before you know it. Thanks for watching.